In this video, I will present some interesting information on exposure therapy that you will probably want to stick around for. If you've experienced a panic attack or several attacks, you may start to avoid being alone, leaving your home, or any situation where you could feel trapped, embarrassed, or helpless if you do panic. People suffering from agoraphobia and panic attacks will avoid doing things that cause them fear. If, for example, you fear going to the mall, then you'll likely get into the habit of avoiding the mall. This fear usually spreads to other situations. In general, you might start by avoiding activities and stay home. So, would exposure therapy really be helpful as a treatment for anxiety attacks and agoraphobia? To address this, we need to consider an example of exposure therapy. To a sufferer of agoraphobia or panic attacks, the mere thought of going to a public place such as a shopping mall can make one incredibly anxious. You may continually tell yourself that you're unable to go to the mall. This is because you are scared of the consequences of doing so. For example, some people fear that they might get so scared or mixed up they will go crazy or simply do something very embarrassing and everyone will look down on them. What a therapist does during exposure therapy is gradually expose you to your fears. For instance, the therapist might start off by just having you get in your car and drive to the mall. But he or she might only get you to drive to the parking lot and then go back home. The next time, you might go into the mall briefly. In the next session, you might stay a little longer at the mall and so on. This continues until you can fully face your fears. So, does this really work? It turns out that being exposed to fearful situations slowly over time can allow you to confront your fears instead of being controlled by them. This is referred to as systematic desensitization because once you see that nothing will happen in a particular situation, your anxiety about the situation decreases. It is postulated by researchers that by completing this process, you are forming new connections in the amygdala, the fear center of your brain. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned next week for the next video in this series. Please feel free to use the comments section to provide your questions about stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia so that we can better help you. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the icon within the lower right corner of this video. You can also click on the card on the upper right hand corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter where we cover the five steps to recovery from stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia, and much more.